Hey there, Chrissy speaking. So, just want to catch you up on the last few days. I've had an amazing last few days. Just um, trying to pack everything in basically before the baby's born. I think I'm on a panic <laughs> thing where I'm just trying to fit everything in that I possibly can. Um, let me see. Monday I started with an amazing photography lesson with Melanie. Um, we went to the river down here, the local one, and it was just lush and uh, we even swam in the river. Freezing cold, but great to get in your bones in this tropical heat so that you stay fresh for a while. So that was like super duper enjoyable. And then yesterday, what did I do? My God, just so many things have happened. Um, I'm drawing a complete blank as to what I did yesterday. Oh, my lovely friend Rose, who's also a neighbor here in Ecovia, did a, um, they call it a Sula reading. Um, so it's instead of a doula, it's a soul doula. So you bond with the essence of your baby's spirit and soul before it's born. It was a three hour session. It's difficult to explain exactly what happened. It wasn't hypnosis, but it was kind of like hypnosis. So we accessed my subconscious mind by really relaxing me and her asking sort of probing questions and um, using my imagination to come up with images and ideas and things and I really feel like I've connected with my unborn child. I just feel so strongly that it's a girl, that her name is Khaleesi, that she really likes it, that she's going to be an incredibly spiritual being um, through song and through singing and music. Um, she's coming to this earth to make the world a better place, as corny as that might sound, but in a very peaceful way very empowered soul yet in a quietly reserved kind of way um, and she was just telling me what she wanted from us basically which was to be her supporter and um, to trust her to not question her gifts but even if we don't understand it because I don't you know I'm very open-minded obviously I wouldn't be doing things like the Sula method otherwise but I'm not in tune in tune like like this little soul clearly is. Um, so she was just saying, look, whenever you get fearful, mum, just please trust in me that I know what's going on. And so it was beautiful. It was a three hour session. There were quite a few tears of joy. And I now feel like when I birth this beautiful be baby, this being, it's not just a baby. It's actually a soul who I recognize and who I know. So that was a beautiful thing to do. And I really, really want to incorporate that into the retreats that I'm going to run one day for ladies that are pregnant and somehow maybe incorporate it into the course my interview Rose and what she does so it was really great and then I was fortunate enough that evening after having a wonderful meal with the kids and the family that I cooked to go to the women's circle um, which is something we do here every couple of weeks which again was amazing um, Sophie, my other neighbor, a dear friend, led it, and it was all about tuning into our yonis. Now, I didn't even know what a yoni was before <laughs> I moved here. Um, basically, it refers to the female area, um, but not just the vagina, not just the sort of sexual area in the womb. It's the actual divine feminine sacred space as such, and you could um, say it's like the whole divine feminine universal power creator if you're taking it to a different kind of scale so it's incorporating both the spiritual the physical the emotional sides of your womb and your empowerment as a divine feminine goddess so it was really interesting because we had to write either a letter to our own yoni or i uh, sorry our yoni was writing to us about how it felt we had treated it through life um be it in a physical sexual way or also an emotional way if it felt that it had been recognized and acknowledged or not um, or uh, the other exercise which I chose to do because it was harder is your mother's yoni writing to your mother um, which was a rather interesting exercise as well and then we meditated on it all and we spoke you know shared and we spoke about the yoni eggs and what they can do because um, women wear them to cleanse themselves, so not just in a physical way again, but also spiritually or to connect more to the divine power. So you can have your yoni egg internally for days on end apparently, 
to which I joked, you know, does it not just fall out when you're in the supermarket and you're scrabbling around trying to pick it up? But no, apparently not. And it has the benefit, the side benefit, obviously, of really helping your pelvic floor. So, um, that was fun. We were there for three hours. I didn't get home till 10.30 or something. Um, I had a really good night's sleep for once. That was great. Um, so yeah, now I've decided to just take a bit of time out for me, half an hour by the pool, get some sun rays, try and go for a swim so I don't feel so heavy because check it out, it is just like enormous barriga these days. Um, so yeah, me and Khaleesi are going to go for a lovely swim while Soray is over there, my other little one, with lovely Fernando. And then we are having cooking lessons with Wilfredo another neighbor um he's an amazing chef and he's teaching us lots of lovely vegan meals and ideas so i um, really excited about that i think we're gonna learn how to make spaghetti from scratch risotto bread some amazing pudding so it should be awesome so yeah i am making the most of my days um so yeah catch you later bye